Well, hello, Shoreline Church. This is your devotional for March 16th. And we're looking at James chapter 3, verses 3 through 5. And now we're changing to the topic of our words, the power of our words. And we're going to spend the next three weeks in our devotionals looking at the power of the tongue, the things we say. And so just ask the Holy Spirit to speak to your heart and also to let you have a sense of how you might use your words in a way that would be more honoring to Jesus. So James chapter 3, beginning verse 3. When we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal. Or take ships as an example. Although they are are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Here's the last line. Consider how great a forest is set on fire by a small spark. So, a series of images to think about. Uh, the, the, the first of those images is a horse. Big, massive beast of burden, a horse. And you put a little bit in its mouth. This little piece of metal. And that horse goes where you take it, with the reins. One small thing guides the whole animal. And then... James goes to a a, a nautical image, right? A ship, big ship. The rudder, in comparison to the size of the ship, is tiny. But you turn that rudder and the whole ship turns. And then the final image is a single spark. Can set a whole forest on fire. What's he talking about? He's talking about our tongue, our words, the things we say. And here's your simple lesson for today. As big a person as you are, all that you have in your life, your words, the things you say, can have a massive impact. This tiny, slippery little tongue of ours can guide our entire life for better or for worse. So here's my challenge this week. Listen to what you say. Guard your tongue, but if you say something, watch the expressions on people's faces. If it's a little bit of gossip, if it's it's not quite honest, if it's harsh and cutting, This week, pay attention to what you say because this little tongue of ours is like a bit that guides a horse, like a rudder that steers a ship, like a spark that sets a forest on fire. And we need to learn to pay attention to our words. Jesus, this is our prayer today, that we would discern how to use our words for the best things possible and avoid the damage our words can bring. Help us pay attention to our words and all that we speak this week so that when we come together next week at our devotional, We'll take that next step into understanding how to use our words to honor you. Give us wisdom and discernment when it it comes to how we use our words. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you at church on 9 o'clock and 11. If you're part of Shoreline, have a great rest of your week.